A group of Richmond residents are speaking out, saying the city is allowing trash to be dumped in their neighborhood. One man has started a crusade to prove it. KPX 5's John Ramos has their story. There are places in North Richmond where trash dumping is so common that residents have stopped complaining about it. To them, it's a symbol of how the city feels about them. Espinosa Matthews has lived in this neighborhood his whole life, and the trash piled up next to the bus stop means one thing to him. That they don't care about this neighborhood, and this neighborhood is a bunch of trash. Trash hauling is a cottage industry here with a landfill located nearby, but not all the refuse ends up there. There are piles of garbage along streets and in vacant lots, and most people have just come to accept it. But Tom Sumner isn't one of them. But this is what I wanted to see right here. This is the big problem. Sumner was so disgusted by what he's seen that he bought a GoPro camera and now documents the trash piles, complaining regularly to City Hall about it. I get cops in the city of Richmond telling me they won't find anybody or cite anybody because they can't afford it. Why not give it a program going where they can come out and work off their fine by getting out here and maybe cleaning up some stuff. He says one of the big problems is the city allows trash and recycling haulers to park their trucks in the residential neighborhood. That leads to junk on the sidewalks, and eventually everybody sees the area as a convenient place to dump. Well, I call them each night, almost to every other day. I say, that truck's still there. You can't let that truck stay here. It's against the law. Ironically, Sumner is accused of causing blight himself. He's gotten warnings from the city to paint his house and remove a shipping container from his backyard. But he thinks it's just an attempt to discredit his efforts to get the trash removed. It's frustrating because I, I found that I have to start documenting, going around the city and taking photos and video of everything I see because I see all around me all this bad conditions. Sumner admits he's been a bit pushy about this with the city and says he's going to try to take a kinder approach. But he says he's not going to stop trying because he's seen what happens when people give up. In Richmond, John Ramos, KPIX 5. KPIX 5 couldn't reach anyone from the city today for comment.